Whether a kayak has been emptied with a T-Rescue technique or not, there are a number of ways for a swimmer to get back in. All of the techniques involve the rescuer bringing their kayak in parallel with the other. The rescuer can then stow the paddles under the deck bungee cords and hold the empty boat steady by lying on its front deck and grabbing around the combing with both hands. With the boat stabilized, there are countless methods for a swimmer to re-enter their boat, but we're going to focus our time on our favorites, which will effectively cover most rescue situations. The quickest way to get back into your boat is with the side sit re-entry. In this case, you'll approach the kayak from the outside, just behind the cockpit. Now grab the cockpit rim and then let your legs float to the surface behind you. With the powerful kick of your legs and pull up with your arms, you'll draw your chest right on top of your kayak. You can then lift your legs into the cockpit and slide into the kayak while twisting your body back into a sitting position. The face-up re-entry doesn't require as much explosive power as the side-sit re-entry, and so it'll be a better choice for many. You'll start from the stern end of your kayak, in between the two boats. With one arm over the rescuer's boat, and the other grabbing the back of your cockpit rim, lie back and lift your legs into the cockpit of your boat. Pulling the two kayaks together behind you, you can then slide or wiggle yourself the rest of the way in. If for some reason none of the above re-entries are working, then the scoop might be the only option. The idea behind the scoop is that the swimmer will float back into the kayak and then rely on the rescuer to haul them upright. As the rescuer, you'll set yourself up as usual, although you won't want to empty out the kayak in this case. With the kayak on its side, the swimmer re-enters the boat by floating in feet first while pulling themselves in by the cockpit combing. The swimmer needs to get themselves as far in the kayak as possible, ideally beyond their foot pedals, and then they'll lean back all the way under their stern to lower their center of gravity as much as possible. You'll then pull up hard on the combing and upright the swamp kayak. Continuing to stabilize their boat, the swimmer can sit back up, get their deck in place, and start pumping the water out. The most popular pumps are handheld because they're affordable and because they can be shared. With your skirt fitted on the kayak, the pump slides inside the tunnel of your spray deck or through an upturned corner. The downside of these pumps is that it takes both hands to operate them, which can be really tricky if the conditions are rough. You can also get deck mounted or foot pumps that are built into your kayak. The nice thing about them is that you can keep your skirt sealed and they generally only take a single hand or a foot to operate. On the downside, they can't be shared. No matter what bailing system you use, it takes a long time and a lot of energy to pump out a flooded cockpit, and when the conditions are rough, it'll take even longer. Depending on the situation, it might be necessary for the rescuer to continue lending their support until all the pumping is done.